Hey. Hey. That is so weird. Like, how do you, how do you say hello in a video that's for yourself? Hi, self. How are you doing today? <laughs> hello, Christina. <laughs> it's weird, right? be on the five. I want to be I want to well, I guess I can go like this. Junction 905. Okay, and then I can take that to the 805, so we're cool. It'll work. Anyway, hello Christina. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, what up, bitch? So as you can tell, given a few hours ago, it's still Tuesday. I put myself together and I went to the library, library, and I cranked up my resume a little bit, which means I copied and pasted shit from the internet <laughs> that they say will make your resume look good. Ugh. And um, so I printed out a few copies, saved it to my email. <coughs> I'm like dying. I don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, I do know what's wrong with me. I need to stop smoking, but <laughs> I need the stress level to come down a notch before that can happen. Anyways, if I win this 10 grand, like, oh my God, you guys don't even know. You don't even know, like, the happiness that I will feel. Like, I need that 10 grand so freaking bad. First of all, I would pay, what would I do with it? What would I do with it? I mean, I know what I would do, but like, first of all, we're trying to move. Oh fuck, I gotta get over. I'm trying to move. So, I would definitely move and then like we owe some money on land so I'd put like a little bit towards the land that we owe. I'd put like a little bit towards, we'd move and then like buy new clothes for everybody because we all need new clothes. And then with whatever was left, I would just put towards continuing to build our house. That's what I would do. I'd probably say like a thousand dollars would go to clothes because there's eight of us. Not that I really, I personally need any more clothes. I just feel like, okay, oops, that's not where I'm going. So, because our water situation is fucking retarded, I have to literally take a hose from that big ass water jug I have, and I have to put it in the washer. Like I, like, like where you put the soap in is where I'm putting the water in, because I can't hook it up from the back hose like a normal person would. That's not capable for me right now. I'm not able to do that with the setup that I have. So it's harder to do laundry, not to mention we run out of water every few days and then I have to wait for the truck to come and fill it back up. And they don't always come. Like, oh crap. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. So they don't always come. And like, Recently, we went like three or four days without fucking water. <coughs> and so, like, we couldn't shower, we couldn't wash dishes, we couldn't do laundry. You can't do shit. Like, you can't do shit when there's no water. I mean, we make it work with the jug that we have when we have water, but the laundry has gotten so backed up. Do you know how many clothes eight people make? How many dirty clothes eight people? I can't even, I can't even tell you the mound of clothes I have in my house that need to be washed. Half of which are probably fucking ruined now because my ceiling is not all there and water from when it was raining and just shit being wet, now everything's like all molded and fucking disgusting and like probably a good 60% of the clothes are ruined. So if and when I ever get to them, they're either gonna have to be thrown out or like washed twice or three, two or three times. Anyways, I just want to live 
normal. I want to be able to wash all my clothes. I want my kids to have their own space. I have six kids in one fucking bedroom. In one bedroom. I mean, apparently they're not all in there like, hello. But there's a bunk bed for my two oldest boys. They sleep in there. And then there's one dresser. They each have their own drawer. And then the girls share a drawer. And then my youngest son has a drawer. And then my middle son has like a little like private dresser. It's like tiny, like a small dresser. That's where his stuff is. And then like all the toys are in the bottom of the closet and then the boys have some of their stuff in the closet. It's just, it's horrible. And then the four younger kids sleep out on the couch. Usually one or two of them end up in mine and my husband's bed. I mean, it's just crazy. It's crazy, there's no space. Our room's tiny as fuck. We have like clothes literally everywhere. I have a trunk that we always end up putting a whole bunch of shit on. So every time I need to get something to wear, I have to take everything off and then I have to open it and then I have to dig through this trunk and try and find whatever the fuck I need, pants or whatever. There's like shelves on the top of the trunk. So like that's where I put like socks, bras, underwear, stuff like that. So that's usually pretty easy for me to find if I have any clean. But um, yeah a pain in my ass I usually end up wearing a lot of my husband's clothes because I don't even want to bother like opening the trunk to go, to go in there my husband doesn't either he's like babe he's like just grab some of my shorts just grab some of my shorts and a t-shirt like don't even bother and so usually like unless I really have to get in there for something I don't <laughs> I will just wear my husband's clothes although I lost a lot of weight I want to say recently, but it's not really recently anymore. It was like probably almost a year ago now that I lost a lot of weight. And I don't even fit in half of his shit anymore. His sweats and his shorts used to fit me like pretty good. And now they like completely fall off of me. So a lot of the times I can't even wear his clothes. His t-shirts still fit, of course. They're just kind of big, but whatever. Same thing. He's lost weight too, so some of his newer stuff fits me a little bit better, but anyway moving on <coughs> yeah I'm dying I'm pretty sure so yeah like I just I just want to live normal I want to have a few I want a room for the girls and a room for the boys and I want to have closet space and dresser space and I want to be able to wash their clothes for them and get them shoes and have Base, like, oh my god, you don't know. They tell you that being surrounded by clutter is like literally physically stressful, and I'm telling you right now, it fucking is. And a lot of the time, and my husband, especially, he hates clutter and he hates dirtiness, and that's what we live. It's almost impossible to have that house clean just because of how it is, how it's laid out, like how there's nowhere to put shit to clean. Like all I can do is sweep and wipe shit down and like literally within two hours, it's covered in fucking dust again. So there's no, there is no cleaning or like I would literally have to throw a whole bunch of shit out in order to even get anywhere. And half of the shit we have because we're trying to resell it, but then my lovely husband, who means well, keeps saying that he's gonna go to the swap meets and sell this shit, but he never fucking does. There's always an excuse, let me tell you. But I love him. I love you, babe. If you ever watch this, I love you. But it's true. So the shit just sits in our house and chills there. And then I try to get rid of some of it for free because nobody wants to fucking buy. I post it like on offer up, just like whatever. And then like I'll get maybe one or two messages here and there and then like they never come through or whatever. And I'm just like, you know how long it takes me to take pictures of everything and then post everything? It takes me like hours, hours for what? For nothing. I've only sold maybe a handful of shit on there. Oh God. I was gonna get rid of, I found, I got a whole bunch of these clothes but a lot of them were stained. I got them for free, I didn't pay for them or anything. They were stained. And at that point I was like, who 
who's gonna buy clothes that have stains on them? Like nobody, you know what I mean? But there might be somebody who generally needs clothes and doesn't care if they have a stain or two. So I posted that I was gonna get rid of them for free. And my husband was like, no, don't do that. There are people who will buy them here, like in Mexico. And I'm like, you know what, babe? Like, I didn't, I didn't give them away, but I was just like, I just, we need to do something with this because it's just sitting. It's just sitting there. It's just sitting there. So, I don't know. I, at this point, if it was up to me, I would either take everything and go to the Yankees and just get rid of it. Or if that's not going to happen, then I just would throw it out. Throw it out or give it away. Like, go through all of our nasty-ass clothes that have been sitting there for months. Like, get rid of the shit that's gross. Try and wash as much of the shit that's not. But, like, we need a legit water source. Like, without a legit water source, it's just never going to happen. And I need, like, three million fucking propane tanks full to the top. And that's a little excessive. At least one good, like, full one. The one that we had was pretty good. Like, it it lasted probably like two three months I think it was pretty good I think it's pretty good so I mean if I at least had that and then when that ends you know then we can just refill it up but or I would even be okay if he made me like a clothesline and I just hung a whole bunch of shit up like that's fine whatever I mean it's faster if I have a dryer, but I mean, if I can't have both, then by all means, I'll make it work with what I have. So, I just, I really, I know it's a, it's a small chance, because there's probably a lot of people playing this $10,000 thing. And there's a lot of entries that I've missed, and I don't know, I don't know what people do. I don't know if they sit here by the radio from eight to five and, put in every single word and I mean either way it's random like they just randomly pick somebody who's entered so it could be somebody who's only entered once or twice and they just just happen to get picked it's just the more times that you enter the more chances you have at winning you know so I've put in quite a lot I've I've put in a, a lot I want to say I've put in probably over 50 entries over 50 easily So I feel like I have a chance of winning. I mean, why can't I win? It has to be somebody. You know? That'd be really nice. I could really use the money. I think I would cry. They call you, you know? They call you in the morning and tell you, you just won $10,000. And then you're like, oh my god. And I would totally cry. I'm almost positive I would cry. Because it would just be such a fucking blessing. Like all this bullshit with my job going and then like I'm not being able to find a second job and then I just feel like we keep getting behind and all the stuff is coming up it's all financial everything costs money it's stressful man it's stressful for reals I'm already ready for it to be fucking March of next year so I can start my fucking taxes that's like the only good time in my life and last year I mean this year when we got um I mean sorry B but you fucking wasted the money on that piece of shit car that we now have another piece of shit car I just wish for once you would buy like a good car and not a piece of shit car But I love you. I love you a lot. So, yeah. Ooh, chili. Oh, I think that's the one I just applied to. Maybe I should go in there. Be like, yo, I applied online. Is your monitor here? Is your monitor here? Oh, I'm tired. <sighs> I took a little nap like with the kids but then I, I dropped off Raul at 8 well like 7.50 he wanted to be dropped off at 7.50 and then this lady she was like can you 
meet me at Einstein Bagels because as everybody knows, I asked for clothes from my boys on my pay it forward um, buy nothing groups and some people were nice and actually helped me so I met one of the ladies this morning she gave me some stuff that is actually really nice I'm excited they're for my younger son um, there might be one or two things that fit um, Raul but I think most of it's gonna be for Kaden so I was pretty excited and then there's some stuff for the girls in there they might have to grow into it but um, it's still cute stuff and I'm sure they'll love it so very excited thank you Leslie no something with an A sorry let's look for shade because I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try to take a nap I wanted to come to the store because I need to go grocery shopping for a few things, not a lot, but a lot of the stuff I need is like cold stuff. And if I buy it right now, by the time it's time for me to pick up the boys and I go home, that's just gonna be like thawed the fuck out. <laughs> There's gonna be no. Oh my god, see, I guess I'm yawning. Sorry. It's not gonna work. So I figured I'll kick it here at the grocery store parking lot. And then at like 2.15, 2.30, probably like 2.15, I'll go in, I'll grab everything, and then that way when I'm done, it'll be time for me to just go and get the boys and then I can go straight home. That's my thought process. So, yeah. <gasps> I think the cocos went well. The lady was real nice. She said I was definitely qualified and would talk to the other manager about. Oh, it's really shade, but I'm like, take it. Um. Um, that she would talk to the manager and get back to me. I told her, because I applied online. Okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> Loki, I've applied for that Cocos for like five or six times on the fucking Indeed. Like, a lot. And they never called me back. <laughs> so either like there's something low-key like horrible about me that I don't realize or... I don't know, something. But, um... Yeah, so hopefully that helps. But Indeed tells me every time there's a new listing for a job, and then I'd be checking like um, other stuff. Facebook tells me whatever, you know? Well, I'm fucking tired. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a nap in before I have to go. Pick up the boys and go shopping. All right. I was going to say love you like I'm talking about. Love you. Bye. All right. Peace out. Bye-bye.